what's up bro i'm in the middle of my workout and then i just thought of <coughs> oh apologies i've just drink water right now <laughs> my abs should be oh fuck man i just drank a lot of water right now i'm in the middle of my workout as you can see what do i do for my abs you see my abs is kind of good I'm not gonna lie my abs is kind of good i'm not posting or anything i'm not posting or anything but you see it for yourself man see these abs man This is how it is, and this is normally how it looks when I'm standing and doing all this stuff. This is how it is. You don't expect your stomach to be like this, by the way. So let's just get into specifics because, and by the way, what I've just told you earlier, the fact that your stomach is not always supposed to be, oh yeah, six pack, no. Sometimes it just, you know, relaxes. That's what a normal human being is. <laughs> don't get insecure, bro. <laughs> Doesn't matter what stages you are at right now with your fitness journey just make sure to keep going going because you know what in fact the moment i started my fitness journey it was like three years ago so it's not too relevant but let me tell you a quick story about it i first started with those you know one of those cringy apps where it's like 30 days challenge 30 days 30 days home workout challenge 30 days leg workout challenge apps workout challenge i downloaded that app workout challenge it was kind of Fun, I guess a good way to start off my fitness journey that's what I've been doing and that's what I told my younger brother to do too so even he did that like a couple of years ago and we've been training for almost three years personally me I'm almost four years now and my younger brother is like two three years so what was I telling okay so I was doing that abs workout at the beginning so my foundation was kind of good I wouldn't even say foundation but my body type was ectomorph you know those one of those skinny skinny fat motherfuckers with lean physique and skinny and then not skinny fat I, I had some kind of tiny bit of abs when i first started years 13 i'm now 17 and what i do for abs okay so past doesn't matter right now in fact right now what i do is i think the reason that i have abs right now i don't even train my abs in fact it's only like wait first let me go to the first reason my abs is good is because i do a lot of cardio a lot of sports which are boxing sprinting or running or jogging whatever you want to call it and then swimming that's what i do you know when you do boxing you move a lot this way right you're throwing those punches keeping your body on like coordination through your core muscles which means you're performing with your core a lot and then when you're running you're raising your legs up like this and then you're moving your whole body when you're sprinting especially if you are like my subscriber to this channel you you have probably seen me sprinting with my live stream Bro, I'm in the middle of my workout. I'm tired as well. I still have last set, you know, today's push day. And then, which brings me to point number two, which is whenever you are, whenever I am doing any exercise, it always consists of me doing a like exercise, which an exercise, which engages my core from my push up to my lateral raises to my shoulder presses to my bicep curls. Everything. I don't sit down and fucking do bicep curls, bro. I stand up and do all that shit. That's why it plays a role in engaging my core, which also makes my abs chiseled. It's, it's not gonna give you like a good abs, but it'll just form the foundation, right? All these abs. And then the side abs was probably because of boxing and sports and all that. And then third, sometimes I specifically, sometimes rarely I specifically train my abs. I've been training my abs for a month during the month of june because it was summer and then just trading and just getting them ads for the summer yay so i was training and i don't have a specific workout routine it would be so cool for you right now to just get that specific routine for me right after watching my thumbnail and then clicking this video hopefully you're still watching this video because i know most of the people have just clicked away waiting for the sexy answer to yeah oh do this do crunches for 20 reps for three sets two times a week and then do that for four weeks and then change the workout no 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 it doesn't matter what personally at least for me it doesn't matter what workout you are doing actually especially for apps as long as you are engaging the apps of course just make sure that you are targeting the right side of the apps right for me the right side of the apps would be the lower portion of my apps because you see my apps is kind of like built but we all have our own weaknesses right so just not being insecure but at the same time just focusing on my weaknesses which is my lower apps but i wouldn't say it's bad either because it's kind of good not gonna lie and then i'm still on my progress so you know sometimes when you do train your abs especially those crunches those bicycle crunches when you're doing all that at least for me you know what happens 
I feel tired as fuck. I just want to stop and take some breaths, man. I just want to take some breaths. <sighs> and then continue again. But you know what? The key I found to building abs muscle was like, you know, go full in. If you're gonna do it like without weights, if you're gonna do body weight abs workout especially, because I've never really been I've never really built my abs with weighted all these machine crunches now I've only done body weight workouts and then you know the key to that push through your limit man whenever you feel like you're tired that you're gonna guess out that you're gonna continue after you take some few breaths no you don't stop you don't stop until you feel that cramp a little bit of cramp until you feel that just imagine that your brain is fooling you I've talked about this before about how your brain is fucking gonna fool you from getting all the gains which you were supposed to get you will get that gains if you push through the pain, man. I'm just gonna tell you, I've had a lot of workout sessions, especially abs. It, it's like, it's an unsexy answer, right? Just, oh yeah, train, push through your limits and then train all those cardio and do all that and get shredded and train your abs. But personally, that's what have been helping me to get abs. Um, and June, I've told you I've specifically trained abs. So what I did was I trained abs, for like especially exercises like bicycle crunches in and outs leg raises russian twist v ups those were the five main exercises that i did for like i don't know how many reps just push through the limit and just take some rest like five minutes and then do it for three sets for two times a week it doesn't even have to be like i don't know too much i i, I mean like it doesn't have to be every day right just two times that's what i've been doing so I wouldn't like give you the exact workout routine, see what works for you. I'm just here to tell you how I got my abs. I'm not telling you how you should get your abs. Right? <laughs> Look at this abs, man. Actually, I can move my abs in a different, different way. You see, this is the David, David late mod. This is my David late mod. Of course, it's not exactly like him, but... And this one is Jeff Seed mod. Jeff Seed. Okay. And this is the remix. Yeah, this one is gonna be the thumbnail, okay? Okay, we got the thumbnail. I guess we're done with the video. <laughs> Improve your life. One step at a time. Always.